Hi, this is Pastor Divine Joseph from Revival Chapel International of Bhimavaram, India. I am really grateful to God for this wonderful opportunity to be preached. I really thankful to my spiritual father, Reverend Dr. Lloyd and Mama, Pastor Clara and I am greeting, uh, greeting you all in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Today I would love to preach about let your children cry unto God. Again, I am saying my topic. Let your children cry unto God. Many times if you, have, if you are facing some problems, immediately you, is, you used to cry and you used to pray loudly and loud and loudly. And you used to go and very rush to your pastor and to church and uh, uh, immediately you are running to your church and say, saying to pastor that pastors, I'm facing this and this problem. I've been working and I'm not getting anything in my life. I am facing many problems. You used to say like this. Th that is nothing problem with that. But I am strongly encouraging you that let your children cry unto God. When your children cry, when your children, I mean, when your children pray to God, you will get a good result. Praise the Lord. Let us look unto Bible. Please let us read Job chapter 38 verse 39. From 39 I am reading for you. Do you hunt the prey for the lioness and satisfy the hunger of the lions when they crouch in their dens or lay in wait in a thicket? Who provides food for the raven when its young cry out to God and water and wonder about for lack of food? Here we can see that one strongest animal is lion. We can see the power of lion in the Bible. It is the strongest animal among all. And a raven is a very, very, very powerless, very, very powerless bird in among birds. Here we can see, I want to encourage you that of course, you might be very strong person, you might be very wise, you have a good job and you have a good family, you have uh, everything, good property and good money. But even though you are unhappy in your life, you don't have happy joyness in your life. Why? these things happen. Many times you used to break your head that why these things are happening in my life? Why I am not satisfied in my life? Why I am facing these kind of problems? Even though I am okay, I am a strong man, I can do that. But your wisdom is great, but sometimes you couldn't achieve anything. You couldn't gain anything for your family. You have good knowledge, but sometimes it won't be Utilized for useful for you. Sometimes you lost that. You couldn't you could you couldn't do what you want to do. Here I want to encourage you that my friend, of course you might have strong person and also very delicate and very weak less power bird is raven. Kraus. 
when you think about uh, about uh, this bird we can learn of course some people are very weak uh, i am not I, i'm not a, no i can't live good life because i am a weak person i have no knowledge i have no study i have no job i have nothing i am unworthy unfit for anything i am a lazy man these things you know some some people used to think like this of course you are a weak person i am talking with a strong person and also talking with a weak person god is able he will make you enable he is the provider he is our provider he is going to provide everything so i am i want to encourage you here with these scriptures that clearly scriptures say let your children cry unto god when the here we can see that when it's ang cry out to god i'm repeating when it's ang cry out to god and and when about for lack of food who is providing food who provides food for the raven i am the one that the lord said to this job replying to job that it indirectly is saying that i am that i am providing here i want to tell you one more scripture from the matthew and from luke chapter 12 verse 24 consider the ravens they do not sow or reap they have no store room or barn if god feeds them and how much more valuable you are than birds here i am saying i want to emphasize this word that how much more valuable you are than birds how much valuable we are more than birds more than animals more than trees more than earth anything when the when god created adam and eve he was well pleased with them because they are own image of god he created in his own image he loves much to adam and eve and today you and i he loves us we are most valuable than birds here we can read that how much more valuable you are than birds that that the lord say to us today we are more valuable we are more valuable in the sight of god you are very very valuable person in the sight of god so if god hears the cry of ravens and uh, their children if god hear lioness prayer what about you what about your children he is going to hear your children prayer if your children cry unto god about your situation god will change everything in your life glory to god hallelujah i want to tell you from the scriptures about the greatness of children matthew chapter let us read matthew chapter 18 verse 2 from verse 2 to 6 he called a little child to him and placed the children among them and he said truly i i tell you unless you change and become like a little children you will never enter the kingdom of heaven therefore whose whoever takes the lowly position of this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven and whoever uh, welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me if any one causes one of the one of these little ones those who believe in me uh, to stumble it would be better for them to have a large milston uh, hung around he, around their neck and to be downed in the depths of the sea 
Here I want to tell you that from the scriptures, clearly Jesus was speaking with, uh, with, the, with, with the disciples and also with the congregation, with the people who gathered there. Jesus, he took one children, he brought one, ch one child, small child, and uh, he, he was telling that, Kingdom of heaven is belongs to this child. If we are like this child, we will get kingdom of heaven. In order to get a kingdom of heaven, we must we must be like a child. Directly, Jesus is saying that kingdom of heaven is belongs to child. Now. If they cry in your room, if they cry behalf of you, and if they cry in your family prayer, if they pray unto God, immediately that prayer will go to kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. That prayer will reach to God immediately. Immediately. God will reply those prayers. He hears that prayers. So I strongly recommend you to make your children to cry unto God. And second, they are in verse 3, we can see that and so truly I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever takes the lower position of this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven hallelujah your children is the greatest one in the kingdom of heaven who is the greatest one one who take lowly position he is the greatest one in the kingdom of heaven now who is the lowest one he is your child your child is the lowest one because jesus took one child and said he is the lowest one. He is the greatest one in the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. If your children pray, your prayer, your children prayer is greatest prayer in the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If your children prays and if they cry out about you and about your family and if they pray for your family, it is the greatest prayer in the kingdom of heaven immediately god received that prayer and he will answer that prayer hallelujah so you make your children to cry out and pray to the lord and again again in the verse five says that and whosoever welcomes one such a child in my name welcomes me. One who ever welcomes one such a such a child in my name welcomes me. There are many, many orphan children are there around the world, we can see. And Many God's people and uh, especially many missionaries and uh, organizations, they have children home. They have children home. They are adopting many children. Really, it is a blessed work according to James chapter 1 verse 27. It is the greatest work. It is the real worship. Of God. If we adopt and if we welcome one child in the name of Jesus, we welcome Jesus. If you adapt and if you welcome one child, neglected one, one orphan children, if you, you if you welcome them and if you say if you can protect them, if you can provide them, you welcome Jesus. And you provide for Jesus. When Jesus enter into your home, you will be blessed. 
we, we can read all the Gospels, all the Gospels, wherever Jesus goes, they, they get great blessings in their lives. First miracle, if, you, if we can see the first miracle, he went to one marriage. There is no wine for the people. Immediately Jesus was there when, the, when those people come, servers come, servants come and ask to Jesus, please help us. Immediately Jesus told them to fill the water. Those servants obeyed that word. Jesus turned the water into wine. Hallelujah. All the people sufficiently, they drank that wine. They received great blessing there. If Jesus was there in the marriage at Cana, if they received, they received the blessings. Now, if you receive, if you welcome Jesus, think about your family, think about your home, how your home will be blessed. I strongly recommend you, some people cannot, uh, know, adopt, adopt, and they cannot welcome one, one child, a strange child into their home. They cannot uh, keep, the, keep in their home. But already there are many children homes are there. You can, you can support for a child in Jesus name. If you support and if you help them, if you provide clothes, food and everything, if you provide them, you provide it for Jesus. You welcome Jesus. When you welcome Jesus in your life and you, in your home, you will be blessed in Jesus name. Jesus is going to help you and Jesus is going to bless your family, my dear brethren. Don't deceive by Satan. He is a liar. But Jesus is true God. Jesus is telling to you, if you welcome me, you will receive blessing. If you welcome a child, that means you welcome me. If you welcome me, you will get blessing. If you need blessing, if you want to receive any blessing, some people are very, very sad about the, their lives. Of course, they have been struggling. They have been working hard. But things are not working in their lives. What is the problem? Let your ch ch children cry unto God. If they pray, if they cry, behalf of you. That prayer will go to heaven, kingdom of heaven. And that prayer is most valuable in the sight of God. If you welcome a child, you welcome Jesus in your life. If you provide to a child, you provide it to Jesus. If you provide according to your richness to God, he will provide for you according to he, his mighty strength. Amen. If ye provide, it fully satisfied. It is fully satisfied. So, he is going to provide for you. And let your children cry unto God. He will provide everything. He loves us. He loves us. So, Today, you keep these words, these scriptures in your heart and let your children cry unto God. You will receive. You will see great changes in your life. You will receive great blessing in your life. In Jesus' name. Now I am concluding my words. You please fully dedicate to encourage your children to pray. You all have your family prayers so that God will bless you. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, my God. You are an awesome God. Really, you are an awesome God. 
He loves us more than anything so that you have came to this earth. You shown your love for your people. Now I am Lord, now we are asking those who are praying along with me, those who join with me in prayers and those who praying that Lord, we want to pray and we want to make our children to pray in your presence. Please bless them, bless their families, my God. You deliver them, my God. You provide them, protect them, protect their lives, my God. Please bless these children. Please bless these families. When they are asking, please let them see the greatness of you. Let them receive great blessings from you when they pray. We pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless our India.